Hi. <laughs> I'm going to wait a moment for people to come into the room. I'm going to try to fix my lighting too. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Gonna be reviewing this deck today. Can't fucking wait. Shit's gonna be cash. Okay. So let me go ahead and start talking about this deck a little bit. Um, it was one of my. I, it was one of my friends. I can't remember. Somebody met, uh, sent it to me through a DM saying like, "Hey, I think you'll like this deck." And I was like, "Oh," you know. And uh, it struck a chord with me. You know, because it's ever so elegant. Um, so when I got the box, uh, oh, it's over there. <laughs> it don't matter. So it comes with the sticker, and then it comes in this really nice, really nice quality business card print. It's very Bateman of me. Very fascinated with it, you know? And it comes with this warning. So, a very important morals heed this warning. Do not gaze directly upon arcane bullshit. Open box slowly, but with medium vigor. Do not put anchor, uh, arcane bullshit near your hair. Never use a sword to open box, but always have your sword ready. Try not to think about bagels, earth, infinite shatter, uh, shattered shards, or meat of 30 days prior to opening. After opening, let the deck recline at a 45 angle to 20 to 25 minutes with the, while it replenishes its vim. Low vim may produce astral cramps. Tip, do not trust arcane bullshit. Ingest this card immediately after reading. Don't. So of course I like this already. So here is the box, and here is the back of the box. So we're gonna go ahead and start. I'm not using a sword, so. Oh. Okay, so right away, I'm really liking the packaging of the box. It's very smooth, kind of velvety, but it's raised and it has kind of like this oaky, kind of like eye kind of pattern here that's all over it. And then like the lettering is a little bit raised and all that stuff. It's a very nice, very, very nice. Super nice. Better, clearer picture. Okay. So let's go ahead. Warning. Okay. Use of arcane bullshit is not recommended for clerics, bishops, Sapit dolls, anyone born before 1960, nieces or butlers, consult a physician immediately if you experience mind rending hallucinations lasting longer than 666 hours or your fingernails turn into soup. For best results, set up a wicker tent in your den, home office, or whatever dark and unspeakable rites are performed. Um, concentrate the tent with cola tears and vermouth. Kneel on a bala rod for no more than 66 seconds. Do not attempt to use arcane bullshit without the following. Ectoplasm shield, level 36 or higher. Four brass toad, ages nine and up. 666 maximum age, apparently. Okay. So then we got the booklet. So let me go ahead and read 
their little description. I'm not going to read the entire thing, but I'm going to read the back of it. So, arc um, arcane bullshit. Bullshit is an internal transformative power that pervades every element of daily life. Bullshit is the bl uh, lifeblood and drives a planetary machine across the infinite psycho um, psychoscapes. Empower humans' consciousness towards the throbbing golden kernel of cosmic truth. Imagine a bee with long sexy legs playing a haunted mandolin. Imagine a bear with mushrooms for eyes piloting an ebony skull. Imagining a television king wearing a silk dress and eating an infinite spiral of beef. Now imagine all three of those fucking weirdos driving go-karts on the back of enormous plaid tongue worm. This is the power of bullshit. With the deck of peripteral challenging cards, one can awaken and harness the ancient secret magic neek of bullshit for both frivolous entertainment and everlasting soul exploiting and enlightenment. Featuring all the main symbols, images, metaphors, archetypes, patterns, pictures, signs, emblems, figures, monifs, and icons known to man, arcane bullshit is a gateway to forgotten kingdoms of ex ex um, esoteric, uh, esoteric gospel of unimaginable power. See, I had that almost all nailed until I fucked it up towards the end. That sounds about right. Okay. So, oh, so the bottom of the deck or the bottom of the box, look at that. It's fucking cool. All right, I'm liking this box a lot already. Really, really digging this. Okay. So, here's the back of the deck. Um, so, this would be kind of like, my hands are small anyways, but at least it kind of gives you an idea about the sizing of the deck. Yes, size does matter. <laughs> For decks, at least. Um, I'm really liking the quality of the deck. Um, it is a very nice, soft, velvety finish. This is very, very high quality. Um, it's just very, very nice, high quality paper. It feels really good. It feels really, really good. Okay. So, I'm a nut for this kind of shit. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this going. So, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the cards. So we have the Guru, Maze Face, the Decision Maker, Sex Witch with Octopus, Pregnant Babies. Frodus, the look at this fucking hourglass, Lord of the Hunt, make up your goddamn mind. The former child star. The pyramid head bird. I'm really liking this deck so far. <laughs> uh, the space, space death. Thief. Parasitic fruit. Rouge Barb Tony. 
Nip Slip Pope. Double Caveman. And Sun. Robot Riding a Gorilla. A coffin full of tacos, full of snakes. The Popa vomiting on the cats. Sorry. Nobody. Card of cards. <laughs> King Fancy. Werewolf and pig making out. Don't you know that a pig and an elephant DNA just don't splice? Baseball goat. Gravity funnel. Oh, the gravy funnel, excuse me. The gravy funnel. Gravy funnel, I know how to read. All right, horse death. The dildo wizard. You're fucked. Half price hot wings. All seeing slice. The weird tree. The greased priest. Yeah, this deck is really cool. I'm liking it. I'm really happy that I purchased this deck. The golden retriever. It's probably nothing. Something. Random clip art. Instinct. Future grandma. Niece. A raptor riding a dolphin in space. The sword hoarder. Everything's fine. The beefcake. Robo dough. Robo dodo. <laughs> a pit bull driving a tiny truck. An anthro morphic carrot saxophone fetus chaos mom the pantless beekeeper the gross cup the rat trout The bird book, snake thing. Inverted squirrel. The floppy key. Infinite cosmic mess. Galaxy dad. The filthy mattress. Mama Dodd Ruffle Bonnet. Giving birth to a skull. Shark, trombone, and three sandwiches. A skeleton eating a banana. Wolves. Crazy mystical shit. Meaningless garbage. I'm really liking this deck. A pie night. Milady. 
Future not found. A surf and chip. Like that 80s, 90s video game. I don't know if you guys remember that. Probably like five of you. <laughs> the Heron Bearer. The Flying Man. The Penis Weasel. A bunch of cats posing as a woman. That's me. Urinal Death. Mineralympicalism. You'll understand what the fuck I said in just a moment. I know I butchered that. But that's called give a dick. Uh, false, the false face. Shrimp and guns. The Fernal Nerd, Queen of Holes, The Giant Sperm Fighting a Dove, Old Man Pouring Water on an Eyeball, The Orgy, A Shitty Acoustic Guitar Guy, Big Sexy Satan, A Digging Ghost, this card is definitely about sex. A giant chained, an, oh, excuse me, an eagle chained to a calf. Hi, Haley. Little Pablo. Annihilation. This fucking guy. Birthday corpse. You're so fucking fucked. Death, death. Hang in there. Papa Macho. Aunt Brenda. A woman breastfeeding a VCR. There's still some cards. Vigilance. A cat licking its own butt for eternity. The provider. Holy shit, stop asking. King shit. The toilet angel. A cactus on a motorcycle with udders. And finally, a uterus with feet. Okay. So, of course, I'm going to have to use the book because I have no idea what the hell these cards mean. So, I'm going to go ahead and do readings with these. Okay, this is going to take a bit to break in. just a lot easier there's a lot of cards there's a lot of cards in this deck
and these cards are sticky. This deck is really interesting. I like it a lot so far. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. So now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by doing Earth Signs or Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see if I can do it. I probably can't. No, I can't. This is like, yeah, this deck is way too thick. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Okay. go cutting the deck alrighty then bottom of the deck overall vibe it is the greased priest right mama holy shit mama right right so let me get giggity giggity let's get comfortable with the greased priest let's find out what the fuck this means The good thing is that this deck does not have any reversals. Okay, Mamo. He's such a dumbass. He got caught with the water bottle. Okay. Um. Okay. The Grease Priest. So. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the overall vibe. This is spiritual comfort will continue to slip through your hands or you have an erotic encounter with a clergyman or both. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead because this deck is not like a typical like uh, tarot reading deck. You know what I mean? So Capricorn, what messages do you need to hear? Okay. So that's for Capricorn. Taurus, all right, and Virgo. Okay, so Capricorn, you got the false face. And of course these cards are not fucking numbered, so I can't tell, okay. That's the one thing that is annoying about this deck, this deck is not numbered. And then they have the numbers in here, so it's like, Jesus. Okay. So the false face. Something that appears to be only thing is a fact. Another thing that appears to be a thing, but is actually another completely different thing concealing another thing. We all wear masks, don't we? I don't. <laughs> okay, Capricorn. Now, Taurus, you got two cards. You got the fancy, the, the king, you got king fancy and werewolf and pig making out. So, okay, so, first let me try to find king fancy. Okay. 
Okay. And of course, this isn't fucking numbered. So, Jesus. Holy craptical, okay. Okay, so where is it? This is really annoying. This is really, really annoying. Here it is. Okay, King Fancy says, let your hair down and treat yourself to something fancy. Of course, there will be consequences. Ignore them if you want to. And followed by werewolf and pig making out, your love life is in perfect harmony. Avoid nature, liquids, and glitter. Awesome. Now for Virgo, we got all seeking slice. So let's go ahead and find that. So wisdom comes with the combo, but privacy is the premium topping. You can't unbake the crust of time. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. bottom of the deck I have king shit so overall vibe own your power no matter how gross it feels anything can be thrown if you sit on it right So, Libra, hi Mamo, okay, <laughs> Gemini, and Aquarius <coughs> okay so Libra we got the inverted squirrel The inverted squirrel means the opposite of squirrels. That's your message, Libra. <laughs> now, Gemini, you're so fucking fucked. You're waist deep in serpent's throat. There's teeth, there's fire. There's no easy way to say this. You're just so fucking fucked. But once you realize that everyone's fucked, you're finally free just to be bored. And for Aquarius, the pyramid headed bird.
Oh, I didn't even see this card, but there's a card in here that says this card is definitely about sex. And Big Sexy Satan. How did I miss that? Okay. This shit needs to really be numbered. I'm like, that is annoying. This is super fucking annoying. Okay. Aquarius. The meaning of this card is obvious. There you have it. Okay, um, now we're gonna go ahead and do water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. bottom of the deck I have is King Fancy making an appearance again for water signs now oh if only if this was numbered then this would make it so easy the booklet is numbered but not the cards I have no understanding so King Fancy says, let your hair down and treat yourself to something fancy. Of course, there will be consequences. Ignore them if you want to. Now, Cancer. Pisces. Okay, so Cancer, we got Little Pablo. Little Pablo. So, he's got a little horn for tootin' plus a lobster, and he's riding backwards on a frog. What a little rascal. He's probably up to all kinds of mischief. Wait, just how little is this guy? Or is it a super big frog? Take some time to ponder the idea of scale. Pisces. We've got meaningless garbage. This is really annoying. Jesus Christ. Okay. It would be nice if the cards were actually numbered.
Okay. Sometimes meaningless garbage is just meaningless garbage. It's time to let go of things that were just once a source of meaning, but now are just weighing you down like apple cores and fish skeletons, boondock saints on DVD, your parents, your Hotmail account, most of your memories, hope for the future, etc. And the Grease Priest. Grease Priest, spiritual comfort or will continue to slip through your hands or you'll have the erotic encounter with the clergyman or both. Now we're going to go ahead and do fire signs. And then one more collective reading. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And of course, I will be uploading this onto my YouTube account. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, we got shrimp and guns. Shrimp and guns. So fire signs. We've got, don't be afraid to define your taste. You can make a happy and lasting union with a brown haired person. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be seeing you soon. I love you, Juan. And then let's go ahead and do Aries. Leo. Sagittarius. Okay, these are way too many cards that popped up. Again, too many cards. Come on, Sagittarius. The Guru for Aries. And this deck is not numbered, which is, or the, the cards are not numbered, but the deck, but the, the pamphlet is. Which is annoying as hell. Okay. All your questions will be answered. All your answers questioned. The group of consumes feedback, offers hollow echoes. Should you trust this weirdo? The signs are conflicting. For Leo, the. The word the is completely mundane and invisible, but it can also make something very important. The feathered lemon, the empty fanny pack, the creamy solar orgasm, the damp shoe. Think about that. And finally, meaningless garbage, which was throwing out shit in your life. Sagittarius, but let me go ahead and pull up the car so I can give you the proper reading too. So, Sagittarius, something meaningless garbage is just meaningless garbage. It's time to let go of things that were once a source of meaning, but now are weighing you down like apple cores and fish skeletons, boondock saints on DVD, your parents, your Hotmail account, and most of your memories, hope for the future, etc. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pull one more card. This will be the overall vibe. This is a general collective reading, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull one card for the collective. Okay, so I got two cards, which is meaningless garbage and shrimp and guns. So, So, sometimes meaningless garbage is just meaningless garbage. It's time to let go of things that were once a source of meaning, but now are just weighing you down, like apple cores and fish skeleton, boondock states on DVD, your parents, your hotmail account, most of your memories, hope for the future, etc. And then shrimp and guns. Oh, we had that card, but I forgot what that means. Because this deck is so weird, but I like it. The shrimp and guns, don't be afraid to define your taste. You will make a happy and lasting union with a brown haired person. Okay. So overall, I really like the deck. I would say out of a 10, I probably am going to rate it, I would say a seven. Um, the packaging is awesome. The cards are great. It's a very high quality. I like the artwork. I think it is funny. Um, with playing with the deck, I think... I've, and granted, I have not had a chance to really play with this deck, but the, I'm encountering a lot of really jokey cards. And it's one thing to have jokey and have some meaning behind it. But it's like, what? I paid like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, whatever. Probably like 50 to 70 bucks if you include like tax and shipping and all that kind of shit, right? So let's just take that into consideration. Like 50 to 70 bucks total for this deck. And I would say probably maybe like one fourth of the cards or maybe throwaway cards because they're just like, it'd be one thing if there's like maybe two or three cards that are like joking, meaningless, just kind of bullshit cards, you know, but, you know, there's a lot of it. But then again, that's why this deck is called bullshit because it's not really offering a lot of real advice. Um, it is fun. Um, you just know that when taking this deck into consideration, it's not to take be taken seriously, you know. Um, I'm, I know I'm going to have to play with the deck more. It tells you there's certain, you know, there's a certain way to read the deck, you know. Um, you know, so, and it kind of gives, like, example threads onto you, onto it, like, aha, a penis, you know, that's one, you know. So... It's not a terrible deck. I like it. I would say it's a 7 out of 10. The one thing that really pisses me off, and you heard me bitching about it, was the fact that this shit is all numbered, right? This shit is all numbered, but none of the cards are fucking numbered. None of them are numbered. So, it's like so much dead air time just to go through that shit. You know what I mean? And it's... um. That is a very annoying thing, and it makes me not want to pick up the deck a lot. Um, just be, and I know that's such a an annoying, mundane thing, but it is. It it, it is kind of a deter for me from picking up the deck, um, because it's gonna take way too long in order for me to look it up, and I'm gonna like get, I lose the vibe and. I get frustrated and all that kind of stuff. So for me, so, but yeah, overall, I would say it's a seven. It's a really good quality deck. I really enjoy the artwork. I think it is funny. There is a lot of throwaway cards. So, you know, you kind of have to, uh, the one thing I am kind of annoyed with is there's a bunch of throwaway cards where it's like, you know, and it's like, well, you drop like 50 to 70 bucks for a deck that's kind of like a throwaway deck. And I don't know, I was expecting a little bit more. But then again, I need to play with the deck more. There's a shit ton of cards and, you know, I'm not even scratching the surface. So, of course, I'm going to be playing with this deck a little bit more to try to get some more feels from it um, and hopefully have a better connection with it. But, yeah, I don't think it's terrible. Um, it is very interesting. It is a very unique um, for a collection, I think. And... Uh, 
and it has oh even on the box like on the bottom of the box it has different printing that's pretty cool but yeah i i'm you know i'm digging the cards i'm digging them and i will go ahead and continue to play with them so anyhow thank you for watching and um i will definitely be uploading this onto youtube i love you guys you guys are amazing and uh i'll see you guys soon